Here at AGBT, we want to know what the latest is with Ein Reporter version 4.4. Carl, I understand there is a software demonstration tonight. What can you tell me about the latest release of Iron Reporter? Well, Dale, Iron Reporter, of course, in the triumvirate of design, sequence, and report, is mm -hmm. the reporting part of the software. And Iron Reporter allows you to take all these variants that you found and actually make sense of them through annotations and filtering. And so, in the latest version of the software, we've got a number of improvements. We have, uh, well, first of all, I'll mention we have a couple of new panels supported. Uh, we always support the latest Ankamine panels. We're actually supporting a new version of the AmpliSeq Exome, just for the high Q chemistry. And uh, we also have a kit for the uh, liquid biopsy, or uh, uh, workflow for the work, well, liquid biopsy. This is so, a Cy uh, Cyvenio. That's correct. And so it's mm -hmm. targeted specifically for that, and um, it takes all three of the different sample types you want to put in. It gets down to 1% limit of detection. It's actually quite powerful, and it's been tweaked just for this application. How is it able to get down to 1%? Well, it's the magic in the algorithms. I probably can't tell you everything you'd want to know about it. I mean, it, it has been shown. Absolutely. We've been using both uh, artificial samples with known variants uh, of the three types, as well as real samples to, uh, to verify that. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Now, what can you tell me then about the other panels that you're supporting? In terms of, I mean, for example, AmpliSeq Exome with high Q. Mm -hmm. There were some adjustments to the algorithm. That's correct. We made adjustments to the files that went in, the algorithm itself, and a lot of testing went in to make sure that that was uh, performing. And, and, and as you know, the high Q chemistry is making things so much better. So much fewer false positives. The data is just incredible. Yeah, I understand that the high Q advantage is, was it with particular on the high GC content amplicons, is that That's correct? That's correct. That's correct. I mean, the uh, n number of errors in those subset of amplicons went way down. Right. right. They showed the most benefit, but everything else got just better in general. But though, you're right; those got the best yeah. benefit. Yeah. Any changes to the user interface in version 4.4, or a lot of it was under the hood? Actually, there's a lot of it under the hood, um, but there are some changes. For instance, we've done some advanced uh, filtering options, so you can do more complicated searching if you know exactly what you're looking for in a in a list of variants and want to just go straight to that. We, uh, we give you a query language you could put in. Uh, we also have this uh, concept called My Variants in the software. This has been previously built in the software, but now we let you have a more full view of everything you've ever annotated, as well as get a complete export of everything you've ever annotated, and it lists you know, what samples did I find it in, which analyses were these, um, and tell me everything about the variants and how I marked it as why it's important. And then I also understand there's some backward compatibility with prior That's correct. We, uh, we have a, a new version of the software, Iron Reporter 4.4, and what uh, we've done is we've uh, allowed you to use the old versions that you might be used to and might have want to stick around in the software, and so you'll have access to these old versions of the, the workflows. And so what that allows you to do is to not only take advantage of the new stuff and even take advantage of the new UI features for everything, but you'll have access to those old workflows. They'll run exactly like they did. The same sample will go in, use the same set of algorithms in that as that old version. So you'll get identical results there and yet still have access to the brand new algorithms. And if somebody wants to give this a try, what do they do? Oh, you just go to, you know, ionreporter at lifetechnologies.com and uh, you can sign up for an account there. For and free? Dive right in. It's free. Uh, we have demo data for many of the workflows, so you can do your own analysis and look at the data using all the features. Um, one of the coolest things is now, especially because you mentioned the different versions, is that you're able to take um, workflows you've run. So you've got these analyses that were run with different versions of the software, and we have a multi-sample visualization area where you can actually choose multiple analyses and say, hey, what's the same or what's different about the results from these two things? And what's, what's powerful about the newest version is we've given you a Venn diagram where you can actually select, oh, I want to see the intersection of only the things that are in common or only the things that are different between two or three samples. So that's really powerful as well. So can I get a 20-element Venn diagram? I'm just well, kidding. Yeah, you, you probably want to stick to two or three for right <laughs> okay, now. Yeah, right. You know what I'm talking about, Absolutely. right? <laughs> but let me mention one more thing, is that, and it might be the most interesting for customers who routinely use Ion Reporter software to find, annotate variants, and want to do that in a systematic, reliable way. You know, there might be one element of a workflow that you'd want to change, say the reporting, PDF reporting template, but you don't want to mess with anything else. Previously, you'd have to create a new workflow, and so you'd have to worry, are all my parameters set correctly, and do a lot of spot checking, just to make sure. 
Now we allow you to copy and edit workflows. So if you're in that new version of the software, you can actually copy a workflow, edit the one thing you care about, wow. maybe one parameter, mm -hmm. one PDF, and wham, save it, and that's your new workflow. You can lock it down, and it's, it's much easier than it used to be. That's great. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Go to ironreporter.lifetechnologies.com and check out the latest version. Thank you very much. Thank you.